my name is Jessica, and I will be taking you on this journey into history. I have always been fascinated with history, mysteries, and the paranormal, so I decided to create a podcast that encompasses all those things. If you find these things fascinating, like me, then please, I encourage you to come along each week to see where history takes us next. Hey, this is Jessica from Ancient Secrets and Haunted Journeys. The month of October is going to be a little different. Uh, Every day I am going to visit a different haunted location. So please be sure to come back and see where we go next. Greetings, my fearless explorers of the ethereal. Tonight, we trade the salty sea air and lighthouse beams for the bustling streets and towering skyscrapers of New York City. But don't be fooled by the city lights. Darkness lurks in the most unexpected corners. Prepare yourselves, for we are about to step into the mysterious embrace of one if by land, two if by sea. A restaurant that serves not just exquisite cuisine, but also a site of spectral encounters. Nestled in the heart of Manhattan's West Village, this restaurant is housed in a building that dates back to the 18th century. Once a carriage house owned by none other than Aaron Burr, the third vice president of the United States, it has since transformed into one of the city's most romantic and haunted dining establishments. Let's start with the man of the hour, Aaron Burr. Staff and patrons alike have reported seeing a well-dressed gentleman fitting Burr's description wandering the halls, especially late at night when the restaurant is quiet. Some have even claimed to see him staring pensively out of the windows. One waiter, who's been with the restaurant for years, describes the figure as looking regal but sad and says that it vanishes the moment it's noticed. But Burr is not alone in his eternal residence. The spirit of his daughter, Theodosia Burr, is said to haunt the premises as well. She was lost at sea, and it's believed that she returns to the place where she once lived, seeking her father. Diners have reported their earrings mysteriously disappearing, only to find them later in their pockets. A playful trick Theodosia was known for in life. The haunting doesn't stop at the Burr family. The restaurant is also home to a mysterious lady in white. She's often seen floating down the grand staircase, her ethereal form glowing in the dim light. Some say she's searching for her lover, who is a soldier during the Revolutionary War. If apparitions aren't enough to give you the chills, how about some poltergeist action? Staff have reported instances of plates and glasses flying off shelves, chairs moving on their own, and even the piano playing by itself. The restaurant's manager once reviewed security footage that showed chairs moving on their own after hours. Another staff member heard the piano playing softly late at night only to find the piano room empty upon investigation. As always, skeptics chalk up these experiences to the building's rich history and the power of suggestion. But with so many first-hand accounts, it's hard to dismiss these tales as mere folklore. Some theories suggest that the emotional energy from the building's past has left a residual imprint, manifesting as paranormal phenomena. So, my darling devotees of the dark, would you risk a reservation at one if by land, two if by sea? Would you dine where the veil between this world and the next is as thin as the fine china on which your meal is served? Remember, in this establishment, you're never truly dining alone. Thank you for joining me on this gastronomic journey into the spectral realms of one if by land, two if by sea. Until our next haunted expedition, keep seeking those ancient secrets and haunted journeys. In a city that never sleeps, even the ghosts prefer a night out. Care to join them? Come back.